We're back. Doug Miles, Don Blair, our guest on the program tonight, author of uh, Splashdown, NASA and the Navy. And we're just kind of talking about some uh, some books that uh, are authors that are going to be at the book fair, the Reading Festival, coming yeah. up yeah. November 4th. Don will have his own booth, which will be a great uh, yeah. honor. You can come down and say hello to Don. And uh, we're just talking about some other books that you've recommended. And oh, another yeah. one that just came out, which yeah. I did not know about till tonight. I, when, when, I, when Doug called me and, and we talked about coming up here tonight, I said to myself, well, by golly, if I'm gonna if I'm going to help him out, I at least get the opportunity to, <laughs> to do a, a plot for something, a I, agent, something I love. I'm a big, big Elvis Presley fan. My first year in radio was 1956, and that was the breakthrough year for Elvis. And I got hung up on him, but who hasn't? I mean, billions of people. Uh, this fellow, Jerry Schilling, uh, started playing touch football with, with Elvis in Tupelo, Mississippi, when they were both kids. And this is probably the warmest book about Mr. Presley that, and I've read them all that I that I've yet seen. So based on his teenage years mostly, or? no, his entire life he yes. ended up he ended up being uh, you know tied to the Elvis organization, uh, promotion, marketing, travel planning, everything. Uh, fell in and out with Elvis, uh, went off on the road, and and actually was the road manager for the Beach Boys, and then came running back to Elvis, and Elvis always acted like, hey, we didn't have any disagreements, uh, you know, come on back in, your family. But it's a wonderful, wonderful, warm book, and if you like Presley, you'll love that book. Another thing, uh, funny thing, the movie The Illusionist is still playing locally. If you haven't seen it, this is one of the finest pictures to come down the pike in years. This is old-fashioned, great movie making, a wonderful story. It'll leave you dangling at the end. And the funny thing is, in the movie, the illusionist, I forget the, oh, his name, the actor's name, he's not a famous name, but there's a fellow that plays a police inspector that is hounding this man, the illusionist, as a, trying to prove that he's a phony, that the illusions that he creates, which are absolutely incredible, is, is all fakery. Well, the illusionist looks like Jay Handelman of the no. Sarasota Herald <laughs> Tribune. And I mentioned it to Jay on an email. Could we go back and forth once in a while, just little notes about shows and things? Tribune, Jay and he, he's on WIBQ a lot with you guys, and he should be. And I mentioned this to, uh, to Jay. I said, I said, I saw this movie, and I kept staring at the inspector. And I said, why does he look so familiar? And then by the end of the movie, I said, it's Jay. And he said, people have come up to him and said, there's a guy in this movie that looks just like you. And you've got to go see it. Not just because a guy that looks like Jay Handelman is in the movie. It is just... Oh, right, that's fan. not... That's, that's Don, Don Blair. That's, I'm not Doug Miles. Either. That's right. That's yeah, not okay. Doug Miles. God. <laughs> Broadcast legend Don Blair. Put heaven, heaven, help, <laughs> heaven help Doug at his age. If he looks like that, he's... You know, you got... It's going to be that hard to know. I mean, I didn't age that you know, overnight. No, you look great, by the way. Well, you. well, we try to... Doug help tonight. I mean, you look great. Well, if I had known... I, I can't gonna... believe you've been retired 18 years. Isn't that awful? That's amazing. Crazy. If I'd known I was going to live this long, I would have taken a better care of myself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of getting back to the space uh, story yeah. a little bit uh, in the news. Uh, a little bit yesterday with Neil Armstrong. Uh, uh, that story really came out a while ago, though. But uh, oh, that's came out that he said the one small, small step for a man. Yes. He didn't hear the word a. He yes. made all the news last night, which I was interesting. It, I know it. I know it. I guess they got nothing better to write about. Though, yeah. You know. I wish we could tell the Mrs. Gorsky, Mr. Gorsky story. Yeah. <laughs> I told a few little cutesy stories in my book, and if you've, uh, you know, poured through it, you know there's a couple of cute ones in there. In fact, there's even one that I wouldn't, re I wouldn't repeat on, t on TV right now, <laughs> but uh, some cute stuff. Well, cute how do you stuff. see the, the space program now? We've seen a couple of shuttles go back up since yeah. the, uh, the well, crash I'm, a couple I'm, years uh, ago. Uh, you know, uh, are we going anywhere with it? Are people still interested in it? What do you think? Well, I'm a newsman, and, uh, you know, by, by our credo, we're supposed to be impartial, but I make no bones about it. I am a full-blooded space NASA fan. That's why I'm writing my second book about the benefits of space technology. But if the space station is ever complete, it will be, and it can't. It, we can't absorb another. And even Michael Griffin says that would sh shut the whole shut thing down. down. But if that station is ever finished, it's going to be the greatest lab to the service of mankind ever built, because they can do things in near weightlessness that cannot be done on Earth, medically, scientifically, every way. It's 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 a treasure waiting to be completed. So Don, I'm, we're out of time, time unfortunately. We'll have to have you back. Where's, Where's the, the time, time go? Splashdown's the name of the book. Don Blair's been my guest. 
I'm Doug Miles sitting in for Rochelle Herman. Thanks again for you for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Rochelle will be on the radio tomorrow at 8 o'clock on WIBQ. Great. Good night, everybody.